Today I'm going to read Katie and the Mona Lisa. So there's a whole series of these Katie books by James Mayhew. And Katie usually goes to a museum with her grandmother and then she has a magical adventure with some of the art. So this one is about the Mona Lisa. Katie and her grandma often went to the gallery on their days out together. Grandma liked to tell Katie all about the famous paintings. Which picture do you like best? asked Grandma. Mona Lisa, said Katie. She smiled at me. Ah, it's her smile that makes her famous, said Grandma. What makes her smile? asked Katie. I don't know, said Grandma, resting on a chair. Perhaps you should take a closer look at her. Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, said Katie, reading the notice by the painting. I wish I knew why you were smiling. Then come inside, Bambina, said Mona Lisa. Katie was very surprised. But Grandma was dozing and the gallery was empty. So Katie climbed over the frame and into the picture. Mona Lisa was sitting in a grand room with a balcony. Bambina, she said, how lovely to see you. I have not had a visitor for hundreds of years. That's a long time, said Katie. Don't you get lonely? Yes, very, said Mona Lisa. I'm supposed to smile, but I don't feel very happy at all. So there's the big room. And there's Katie talking to the Mona Lisa. A small tear ran down Mona Lisa's cheek. I'll cheer you up, said Katie, handing her a handkerchief. When Leonardo painted me, he asked clowns and musicians to make me smile, said Mona Lisa, blowing her nose. Can you dance or sing? I've got a better idea, said Katie. She took Mona Lisa by the hand and very carefully they stepped out of the picture and into the gallery. You can meet anyone you like here, said Katie. I'm sure there is someone who can make you smile again. So there they are leaving the picture. They looked at the pictures one by one. At last, they stopped in front of St. George and the Dragon by Raphael. A knight in shining armor, said Mona Lisa. Can I meet him? If we climb inside, said Katie. So Mona Lisa and Katie stepped through the frame. St. George was rescuing a beautiful princess from a fire-breathing dragon, but he forgot all about her when he saw Mona Lisa. Ah, oh, Bella, he said, climbing off his horse. He kissed Mona Lisa gallantly on the hand. At once, the dragon flew off and started to chase the princess again. Mamma mia, said Mona Lisa. Help, save me, cried the princess. They leaped out of the picture with the drawing flagging, flying after her. St. George dashed off to the rescue. Now I'm all alone again, sighed Mona Lisa. Perhaps we can try another picture, suggested Katie. They climbed out and walked into another room. So there she is looking sad. Mona Lisa pointed to a picture by Sandro Botticelli called Primavera. Look at the dancers, she said. I'd love to join them. So Katie and Mona Lisa clambered inside. They found themselves in an enchanted grove where everyone was dancing and the scent of flowers filled the air. Welcome to springtime, said a beautiful woman in a flowery dress. I am Flora. Come with me and taste the oranges. So there are all the dancing ladies. There's Flora. Flora helped Katie gather sweet, juicy oranges 
whilst Mona Lisa joined in the dance. I think I could be happy if I stayed here. But just then, Katie slipped and fell onto the three dancers. They ended up on the ground, covered with squashed oranges. You have ruined the springtime dance. Just wait until we catch you, said the dancers. Perhaps it's best if we don't stay, said Katie. I think you may be right, sighed Mona Lisa. So how do those dancers feel? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty upset with Katie for messing up the dance. They quickly climbed out of the picture and ran into another room before the three dancers could catch them. Mona Lisa saw a picture called The Lion of St. Mark by Vittori Carpaccio. So they're the dancers, and you see Katie hiding from them. She could see the city of Venice behind the lion. I've always wanted to visit Venice, sighed Mona Lisa. Katie thought it would be a good place to hide from the angry dancers. She took Mona Lisa's hand, and they stepped into the picture. Oh, no. Stepping in with that lion. Welcome to Venice, said the friendly lion. There's water everywhere, said Katie. Is there a flood? Venice was built on the sea, said the lion. I shall carry you over the water. They climbed on the lion's back, and he opened his beautiful rainbow wings and flew up into the air. Below them, Venice sparkled like silver and gold. Look at that magical picture. They're flying on the back of the lion, and you can see the whole city of Venice. They tumbled through the frame. Oh, excuse me. The lion carried them to the Grand Canal and they got into a boat called a gondola. The people of Venice waved and sang songs and gave them pasta and ice cream to eat. But then Katie saw that the gondola had sprung a leak. My dress will be ruined, cried Mona Lisa. What shall we do? I'll fly you back to the picture frame, said the lion. Climb on. They held onto his mane and he flew up into the sky. Help, I'm slipping, yelled Katie. Oh dear, said the lion. I think I'm going to crash. They tumbled through the frame and into the gallery. Mamma mia said Mona Lisa. There in front of them sat the dragon. He breathed fire and roared at them. Behind the dragon stood St. George and the princess and the three dancers. They all looked very cross. That means they looked angry. Oh dear, what a muddle, said Katie. What shall we do? Look, all the characters from the paintings are all there together. Suddenly, the gallery was filled with sweet music. It was coming from another picture called An Angel with a Lute by Giovanni Ambrogio de Predis. Look, it's a beautiful painting of a musician. The angel came out of the picture and stroked the dragon. He stopped growling, lay down, and wagged his tail. How clever, said the princess. You've tamed him. The princess put her belt around the dragon's neck and led him proudly back to the picture. St. George kissed Mona Lisa's hand once more and followed them. You see St. George giving Mona Lisa a kiss on the hand. The angel played on, and the three graceful dancers smiled and twirled and skipped happily back to the orange grove. The lion flew back to Venice, growling a farewell. Please, can you help Mona Lisa? said Katie to the angel. I wanted to make her smile, but everything went wrong. She doesn't need my help, said the angel. Just look. And Katie saw that Mona Lisa was smiling. 
Mamma Mia, she said, what an adventure we've had, Bambina. Wasn't it fun? Yes, it was, said Katie, and they both laughed. Katie thanked the angel and he flew back into his painting. Will you be happy in your picture? Katie asked Mona Lisa. I shall think of you and that will make me laugh, she said, climbing through the frame. Thank you for making me smile again, Bambina. Adio. Adio, said Katie. Katie ran back to her grandma. I found out all about Mona Lisa's smile, said Katie. But I can't say, you wouldn't believe me. I expect you're right, said Grandma. Now, what would you like for supper? Pasta and ice cream, said Katie. They're my favorite. And she smiled a secret smile, just like Mona Lisa. And that's the end. And I just want to show you in the back. There are all the other Katie books about different artists. So you might enjoy checking one out from the library and reading another one.